Hello and welcome to this quick tip video. My name is Arvind Krishnan and I'm a simulation specialist at CoEngineer. This is part three of a series of videos showing the advanced functionalities in Sorbet simulation. In this video, we are going to look at a plasticity one mesis material. Now, it's known that for a linear elastic isotropic material, which is what the default is for a linear static analysis, the blue graph shows how the material behaves until yield and after yield it continues with the same slope. So if you have any stresses in the plastic region a linear elastic isotropic material cannot distinguish the difference in material behavior. One of the available material types among several others in a um, non-linear analysis is a plasticity one mesis material where you can define how a material behaves in the plastic region. One way of defining this behavior is by entering a tangential modulus, which is a line that defines the plastic region behavior. And if there are any stresses in this region and remove the load that creates the stresses, you're gonna see some amount of permanent deformation. Quickly going back to the model, what we looked at at part one was force control. I have changed the force down to 150 newtons and the material applied in this case is a linear elastic isotropic material. We have our results for stress which right now we see is way above yield and we also have some displacement results. Now using the same setup we are going to go to the plasticity one mesis material. Only here we are going to define a plasticity one mesis material. In this case, you, um, when doing a nonlinear analysis, you have the ability to define different types of material, ranging from shape memory alloys to accurately simulate the behavior of rubber, elastomers, and plastic materials. For a plasticity one mesis material, we can define the tangential modulus, which defines the behavior of the plastic region. If you want a more accurate representation of a material behavior, you can enter the stress strain curve of the entire material. Now this study has already been ran. The rest of the setup is similar to the force control setup where a force of 150 Newton is applied and a fixture. And we can use the compare results tool to look at the results of both studies. So the left shows the force control results and the right side shows the plasticity one mesis material results. What is noticeable immediately is that the one mesis stress is about half the amount of the, of the max stress in the force control whereas the displacement is almost doubled. And the reason for this is when you have a tangential modulus that is much lesser than the elastic modulus for the same amount of strain, there is not as much stress now. But because you have a much smaller modulus number, there is a lot more displacement for a smaller amount of force. And hence you see higher displacements but lower stress, which is going to be more accurate of modeling a material behavior for stresses that are in the plastic region as compared to just using a linear elastic. This concludes this quick tip video. Once again, my name is Arvind Krishnan from GoEngine. Thank you.